Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Printronics Technical Updates. Today we're going to be discussing the new Printronics Energy Star Thermal Printer. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, new announcement that we just announced a couple of weeks ago, uh, we announced the uh, SL uh, slash T5000R Energy Star printer. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about the differences and what you'll see uh, between a regular T5000R printer and an Energy Star. First, the way to recognize the printer, uh, you will see actually a little Energy Star logo on the front corner panel of the front of the printer down the lower left-hand corner. Uh, so that's a good indication, first of all, if you see the Energy Star logo. Second, on the back, you'll need to check the serial number of the printer. Uh, the, new, the new model uh, actually shows SL5 or SL slash T5000R. And now there will be a version number, which will actually be the, the type of the printer it is, like a T5306 uh, will be under the version. And also in the serial number now, uh, the second and the third digit of the serial number are going to be ES, uh, standing for Energy Star. So the best way to take a look at your printer, uh, because they're going to look the same, Energy Star logo on the front, and in the serial number, uh, look for the ES in the second and third digits. Uh, on the serial number plate in the back of the printer. Uh, the other key common factors that are going to be changing on the printer. Uh, you'll see, uh, since we, it is now a truly an Energy Star unit, we had to make modifications and changes. And you're going to see a completely new main logic board and a completely new power supply. The main logic board and the power supply are completely separate from the uh, older T5000Rs. You cannot interchange them one way or the other. So you must keep the, the Energy Star power supply and main logic board uh, unique to that printer. Second, on the, main, on the power supplies, there is a unique power supply for the 4-inch printer, and there's a separate power supply for the 6 and the 8-inch printer on the Energy Star units. So uh, even the power supplies are a little bit different based on the 4 or 6. Some of the changes, though, that we did on the main logic board for sure, uh, we've done a, cu a couple things. On the new main logic board, there's a built-in NIC card now. So the built-in NIC card is going to be built in on the main logic boards. So every printer will come with that. Uh, second, uh, we're going to see some new gap sensing design in a gap sensor. The old gap sensor had a little four-pin ribbon connector that slid in the main logic board. Now there's six. So we've actually changed the design of that. Even though the gap sensor itself will look very similar to the same now it's a new connecting system and a new improved gap sensing system. We've also added micro-stepping menus, uh, vertical DPI adjustments in the media control menu to give us true uh, vertical imaging, so to be able to go into a competitive environment and dial down or dial up the, the image shifting, the image uh, uh, sizing itself to get a perfect match to our competitive product that may be in there. Uh, we've also added more memory. They'll be built in on the main logic board now, 16 meg of DRAM, of uh, flash, sorry about that, 16 meg of flash, and 64 meg of DRAM. Those, those are soldered on, so there's no, there's no ordering differential now. It's going to come standard with 16 meg of flash, 64 of DRAM. The security key that's mounted on the main logic board also is changed. It's green compared to the blue ones that we have today on the T5000. So you'll see a green security key, which will indicate to you that it's definitely a, a green unit. Uh, we'll still have two, since we have a built-in NIC card now, we still have two slots for expansion slots to be used for things like uh, TwinX coax or our GPIO board. Second part of this uh, Energy Star unit, if you have a validator now, if you buy a validator, the validator option now will come with another small uh, uh, printed circuit board that will mount to the main logic board and then the validator actually plugs into that. Uh, the validator needs uh, five volts and this this uh, this little board then converts 24 volts to five volts to give us that for the validator. So you'll see that will be an addition when you when you order the T5000R with a uh, uh, Energy Star with a validator, you'll get this little main lo little logic board that plugs into the main logic board as well. Um, the rear panel of the unit uh, will look uh, similar to the other one, except now you'll see in the same uh, string that we have where they where the serial and the USB port, where you'll also see now this built-in NIC card. 
So it still gives you the, uh, your parallel adapter, your serial, your USB port, and the built-in NIC now, plus our little debug port we use for maintenance, and then two expansion slots that can be used for you know, GPIO or wireless, etc., or the TwinX coax option. Uh, there are some differences in the RFID component of the unit. We've added more RFID uh, uh, tag types within the menu, as well as we've subtracted some uh, tag types. We removed them. Uh, and these are tags that have historically been Gen, Gen 2, Class 1 Gen 2 tags that are no longer in use, like the Dallas TI tag and the simple Trident, etc. So there are some changes and modifications uh, there as well. Uh, under the... Uh, uh, the menu mode setup, the menu setup mode, we've changed a couple things. Under the printer control menu, we've taken the power saver time and changed it to five minutes. So the printer will go to power saver mode in five minutes. We've also made a change where we used to have global memory uh, adjust under the printer control menu. We've changed that now to printer page memory adjust, and it will allow you to allocate enough page by length of the page, allow allocate enough memory to be able to, to improve processing of power as well. The factory default is 24, max is 24 page max, so we can adjust that to give you more control of, of memory, et cetera. Um, we, again, we, we removed the global memory adjust completely. Uh, in the uh, calibrate control menu, the power up action, uh, we've changed it to auto calibrate. To, so printer to auto calibrate automatically at power up. And we remove dynamic sensing from that calibrate control menu as well. We also now finally did this. We finally enabled uh, the gap mark sensor where out of the, on the T5000s it was disabled to begin with. We've made it to advanced gap. Now I'll caution you here is that it's, so the printer powers up in advanced gap mode, it's going to automatically calibrate for the end user, no problem. The issue would be is if in fact the end user uh, if they're running a six or an eight inch printer, the gap sensor is set up in the center of the unit. So if they're running a smaller form and happen to move the lower sensor over and neglect to move the upper, they will then get a calibrate uh, error, a gap not detected error. So you need to check that out for sure. Um, they have uh, uh, increased the, on the serial and the, and the uh, parallel port, they've in increased the buffer maximum up to from 16K to 64K. Uh, we have some new uh, software, of course. The new software is only available on the ES. So on the Energy Star unit, you can't, you can't move that Energy Star software to a non-Energy Star unit and vice versa. You cannot move non-Energy Star software to the Energy Star unit. So uh, today you'll, have, you'll see new software as well, and those are available for us uh, to boot. And you will get errors if you were to try to reflash one printer or the other with the wrong software. Trust me, I did this this last week. You will definitely get errors for sure. Uh, of course, we've uh, in, in, improved and got a new Windows driver that's also available for this, uh, new Energy Star unit as well. So you can uh, you can use that too. Uh, the second point is uh, on the Energy Star unit, uh, since the NIC is now included, the pricing stays the same, and basically you've got a NIC included with that. Uh, it's a great unit. Um, I'm looking forward to putting more and more of them out in the field today. We've actually uh, seen the first uh, fierce number of units go out there, and I'm excited about having a new, the only Energy Star thermal printer on the market today. Thanks for choosing Printronics, and have a great day.